Welcome back to Help to Authority. Now, if your Facebook app or the Facebook Messenger app are playing up on your smart device, then usually the best way to resolve it, or at least try to resolve it, is by clearing the cache first and foremost. It's a very easy troubleshooting step that can very frequently fix the problem. So here's exactly how to do it on both iOS and Android, starting with, well, the latter. As always, the first thing you wanna do is go into your settings. It's the cog icon right here, and then scroll all the way down until you see this option right here, apps. Then simply tap on that, and then, well, you're gonna get presented with a long list of apps, so just scroll all the way down until you find Facebook. Once you are in the Facebook section, scroll down until you see storage, and then tap into that, and then you have that clear cache option in the bottom right. It is also telling you right now how much cache the app is currently taking up. Now keep in mind that because Messenger is a separate app on your phone, different from just Facebook proper, you're gonna have to clear its cache separately from Facebook if you're having problems with that specifically. Now let's do it on iPhone instead. However, unlike with Android, where you did it via the settings app, here you do it from the app itself. So you simply go into your Facebook application and then go into your profile icon in the bottom right. Then click on the settings option, which is the little cogwheel in the top right, like this, and then scroll down until you see the browser tab right here. And then you just wanna click into that. Then you'll be taken to this menu where you wanna click that big clear browsing data button. And just like that, it's going to clear the cache on your iPhone. However, there's one more method with iOS that isn't technically the same thing. However, it's still one more step you can try when troubleshooting. So just simply go into your settings tab like this and then go on to a general. From general, click on iPhone storage, which should be near the top just here. Then wait for everything to load in and you'll see the Facebook app right there. Then you have this option right here, a offload app. It's not the same as clearing cache because it essentially removes the app, but keeps all the important documents so you can very easily reinstall it later as if nothing happened. So again, it is something you can try just in case you're having problems with the Facebook app. And once again, this also applies to the Facebook Messenger app instead. And that's pretty much everything everything you need to know about how to delete cache from the Facebook and Messenger apps on both Android and iOS. If this was useful, make sure to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.